Hello and welcome back to Aging Well, a monthly production of Somerville Cambridge Elder Services. I'm your host, Nathan Lamb, and our topic today is dementia care training. And for our final segment today, we're going to talk a little bit about other community resources that can assist with dementia care. Um, I'd like to welcome uh, Liz and Nathaniel back into the studio. You guys have been great guests. Thank Looking you. forward Thank to you. finishing out this discussion. Uh, so I guess maybe a first, good first place to start would be uh, Payne Senior Services? Sure. Um, Payne Senior Services is a tiny little agency that serves Cambridge seniors. Um, we provide support for seniors and, and also their families. We have clients that we follow long term because they have a um, degenerative uh, disease like a dementia or Parkinson's. And so what we can do is help that person sort of know what their options are in the community, help them think ahead about what they would like uh, as far as care, who, if they have someone in their lives that they would trust to be a healthcare proxy, and just, again, help them sort of plan ahead of time uh, and support their families who might not live nearby mm -hmm. as well to sort of think about what's going on with their, with their family member and make sure that they talk to each other about, about what's going on, what their hopes are, what their plans are, what they would like, what they would need. Mm -hmm. um, and help them sort of test that out. And if there are resources like Elder Services um, or the different councils on aging or the Alzheimer's Association, make sure that they know what those resources are. Absolutely. And they can find you online? At they can't find us online yet, but they can certainly call us at 617-864-2580. Um, our website is still pending. And um, as fate would have it, you also are involved with a program that helps people with uh, dementia care, uh, adult family care? Sure, yeah, the adult family care program is a part of Somerville Cambridge Elder Services. It's a program for uh, members who have uh, Mass mm -hmm. Health Insurance, Mass Health Standard, um, and who are receiving care in their home um, by somebody else. Uh, it could be a friend or a family member. I can't be a spouse, unfortunately, yeah. although we're working with the legislator to try, uh, legislature to try to change those rules. Um, and this is, it provides a monthly stipend to the caregiver as well as support from a social worker and a nurse, a monthly mm -hmm. support from a social worker and a nurse. Um, and we can offer um, training and, uh, and case management um, as well as sort of health supervision um, and access to other community resources. I like to think of it as you help caregivers succeed and you yeah. help them provide great care at home. Yes, I, and you know we do visit in the home and so we do develop relationships with our clients and an understanding of what their home environment is like and what their challenges are um, and as well as their strengths. It's mm -hmm. a really uh, special thing for us to be able to visit people in the home um, and to provide um, that type of help uh, mm -hmm. in the home and really understand what people need um, and works very much with the caregivers on developing skills and, mm -hmm. and access to training opportunities. Uh, absolutely. And I'm happy to say that our agency, Somerville Cambridge Elder Services, has also mm -hmm. added a couple of programs over the past year that can help mm -hmm. people with dementia. Mm -hmm. And you happen to be involved with another one <laughs> of those programs, which is Music and Memory. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, so Music and Memory uh, is, at this point, I believe, a nationwide program that w originated with a focus on um, elders in nursing homes mm -hmm. providing music to people who may be lacking that type of um, sort of engagement um, uh, sort of with the arts. And, and uh, what the research seems to have shown is that music is a special tool for helping people access memories and experiences um, and emotions that they might not have access to because of uh, the advanced uh, impact of dementia on the brain. And what we're finding is that music and memory can ha be helpful for people with all sorts of conditions, mm -hmm. uh, not mm -hmm. just memory impairments, but also people who may have developmental disabilities, people who may be just homebound, mm -hmm. um, and so they're not able to easily access those types of resources. Um, and so we provide training as well as an iPod and music to a person who um, needs this, who would benefit from this kind of support. And we found that it's been very helpful um, in improving mood, decreasing stress, um, improving the relationship between mm -hmm. the caregiver and the person they're caring for, 
um, as well as sort of unlocking a lot of memories and stories from people uh, who connect with music from, from their youth or early adulthood. Mm. It's a great program. It's a really special program, yeah. Mm. And I'll, I'll close this week by mentioning our other program that we added this year, which is the Cambridge Connections Memory Cafe. It's a fun social event each month uh, over at the Cambridge Citywide Senior Center. And it's a nice social event. They have activities every month. And there's more information on it um, up on the screen at the moment. Um, so I'd like to thank both of you again. Great guests. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your knowledge with us today. Thank You're you. Welcome. My pleasure. And that's all for Aging Well. We'll see you next time.